Hey, I'm Matej. Actually, my real name is Matej, just people who don't speak Czech can't pronounce my name correctly, so they all call me Matej. And I was born in the Czech Republic, Czechoslovakia, Western Russia, whatever, it's just that small country far away from the United States. I have almost finished my one year as an exchange student here in the US, in California. And since I came here, I've learned many new things made new experiences which will help you to have your exchange student year way easier than I had. And that is also what today's video will be about. I know it can look like a long time for majority of the people, one year away from your family, friends, everybody who you love. The most important thing is just don't think about that. This year can be the best year of your life, so put as much effort as you can to everything you will be doing here and do not stand behind. Trust me, in school that you will be going to, is everybody so excited about meeting new friends, especially from different country? I wasn't nervous at all about coming here, and you shouldn't be too. Maybe in first day of school, you should introduce yourself to your teachers, so they can know that you are from different country, and it will be harder for you to understand everything at the beginning of the year. On the other hand, that doesn't mean that you should have any advantages in your classes than other people because just because of you are from a different country. So try to do everything like others because working class, especially essays or presentations are those things that put you on another level of English. I remember when I did my first presentation in front of the class, I started shaking and it was probably the hardest thing in this entire exchange student year for me. But after a few others, it started getting easier and I think that right now I'm almost able to speak like other people from this country. So I'm really glad about that. And then when I had my first dream in English, I remember that I woke up in the middle of the night and I just realized that I had dream in English. So I was lying in the bed and telling to myself, hell yeah, I can speak English now. Obviously, it will be challenging here for you, but you can make it easier by spending more time with your friends. That is probably the easiest way how to learn new language. I would suggest to take some contacts from people you sit with, maybe even that first day of your school, because those can be your friends for an entire year, so you should ask them either for Snapchat or Instagram, so you can easily contact them after school and start hanging out with them. You would also easily know what is going on around you, so you can engage to more things. For example, I remember that when I came here, that during my first few weeks, we started practicing for homecoming dance. I'm not sure if they are doing it in every school in the US, but if yes, you should definitely do it because it's a lot of fun and you will meet <laughs> so much more friends. A lot of people here play sports in high school, so if you like playing something, you should definitely join some <laughs> club or sport in high school, because it is way easier to make friends when you have something common with them, something similar, so you should definitely join <laughs> some kind of sport. So even if you don't play any kind of sport in your home country, you should definitely find something what would be interesting for you to play here. And if you really have no idea what kind of sport you should join, you can always ask your counselor. There is like a person in the school that will help you with everything during the year. So, or you can ask your friends or some people in the school what kind of sport they are doing. So you can join something similar. And in my school, we have three seasons during the year and each season has different types of sports. So you can join three sports during the year and they have literally everything. They have football, basketball, volleyball, <laughs> rugby, tennis, swimming, lacrosse, basically everything, every kind of sport you know. I'm in Southern California, so we don't have ice hockey in my school, but I think that in most of the others they do, so you can join that if you want. I personally choose rugby. And then about choosing your classes, you can basically choose whatever you want, it depends. If you want to have harder year or easier year, it's just up to you. I think that you have to choose English class and history class and then every others are up to you, just <laughs> 
whatever you want. They have many different types of classes, so usually I don't know if it's different in your country in Europe, but in my home country we have every year the same classes, so like math, English, physics, chemistry, uh, biology and everything. And here if you want you can choose just fun classes like um, video production and anything you want. So in the end of this video I would say good luck in your next year and have as much fun as you can because this is happening only once in your life. If you have any questions though you can comment me down below this video or text me a message on my Instagram profile that should be link on my Instagram profile should be also in the description of this video. I would love to see your own experiences during this studying abroad during your exchange student year so you can text me to my Instagram profile or just tag me in some posts you, you will post on your profile. Okay this is really everything for today's video everything I wanted to say so good luck again and see you next time. Oh,